Hey guys, we're at the Thrill booth at SHOT Show 2020, and this is Cass from Thrill, and he's gonna walk us through the interesting background that this company has. Now Cass, first of all, let's, let's show them what you guys did for a first product. Yep. This, I thought this was really interesting. So, many of you probably know this is the AKV9 magazine. This is actually something that you developed, is that correct? That is correct. In uh, 2018, we designed and developed that magazine for PSA for use in their AKV. And so, that's this magazine, do you sell it as an independent product, or is it now PSA has uh, this? It's a PSA it? product that's available okay. through PSA. It's an OEM product. Uh, it features steel feed lips, uh, a polymer body. We have it in opaque and translucent. You can find them on PSA's website. Uh, we also have a rubber floor plate, or we, what we like to call a strike plate, and that just helps him impact the drop test for rough handling. Awesome, so you can drop this thing loaded, and yes, it'll, sir. it'll yep. survive a blow. Load it on the bottom, load it on the top, you can beat the hell out of it. I think these magazines are gonna be quite popular because these are based on the Scorpion Evo magazine. Yes, they are. And so, you know, you can run them in your Evo, you can run them in your AKV9, all sorts of stuff, so, and they're really cost Yep, um, and PSA friendly. just released a uh, new 9mm AR that takes it as well. Yeah, right, so you're starting to see other companies support this magazine. Correct. So that's really, really interesting. So walk us through some of the other stuff that you're doing because uh, you have some products here that's going to probably appeal to a fairly wide audience. So let's start off maybe over here, because this one I thought was a really interesting little project. Yeah, so this is called our, our Bantam stock, and it's a new, real compact, streamlined stock. Uh, no QD cups, but we do have an M-lock slot that's molded into it. And what you'll be able to do is attach a QD cup. Uh, it has inserts in the back so you can put a butt plate. I think what's most unique is its, its size. Uh, comparing it to just a typical stock, you can see how much smaller the footprint is. That allows us to reduce the weight. We're sub four ounces on this thing as a complete stock. Uh, the other thing is the pivoting point. So normally you adjust the stock by pushing to the rear. Yeah. This one's on the front. And the angle that it's at in the spring force, you can't really hit it and snag it. So both of our stocks are snag free. But we call this one the Bantam. And so this one kind of reminds me of some of the uh, stocks of, of old, right? Like the original. Yeah, uh, like the Car 15, but yeah. modernized. Right, so this is super lightweight. And I thought it was interesting as well, guys. They have a tensioner inside here. So when you put, and this is true of, I believe, all your stock products, you that have a, a tensioning device inside there. So when you put it over your mil spec tube, it's not going to wobble around. It's actually going to stay you know, firmly planted, so when you're moving it around, that's really kind of annoying. Yeah, right? you don't want it to rattle. No, it, it gets on your nerves, especially when you're trying to get a cheek weld, not just from the noise standpoint, but just trying to get a cheek weld on a rifle and having that part move around Correct. is just annoying to me. It's distracting as a shooter. Very interesting. So, uh, I also found this to be quite interesting. Tell us a little bit about this magazine yeah, and why so this, it's unique. This is our other new product that's coming out in 2020. This is a 1022 magazine that's been modernized. So what we've done here is we took a real hard look at the BX25 magazine. And we realized that a lot of the engineering that went into that was based off of the rotary magazine. So the rounds come up and present to the right. Mm -hmm. So we've straightened the stack out as well, a true stack. So we had to rotate it and kick it on a little bit of an angle. But now this feed lip is much different. It's flat on the side here. It's got plastic down inside that when you load it, you can't get the rounds twisted. But what's really unique is we have a thumb or finger loader across the back. And what that allows is, you know, younger shooters or people who have trouble loading to full capacity to use their index finger or their thumb to pull it down. And what's really neat about that, it's on the back of the magazine, guys. So some people will actually design it where it's on the, on the side. side. Yep. And you'll see that like the, the M&P 22, for example, their magazine, right? Correct. And so they'll have that device on the side, but if you grab the magazine and fire it from holding the you magazine. Install it. Install the magazine or it stops feeding. This is recessed into the back of the magazine so that you don't have to worry about that and uh, that's really handy, so you don't need a magazine loader anymore because it's built into the and magazine. And it has the same you know, type of steel cast feed lip. And what is your price point for these? Uh, $29.99 is going to be the price point MSRP for that magazine. And you plan on launching these in 2020? We do. Okay. And that carries the same uh, rubber strike plate as all of our magazines. Outstanding. So what else do we have out here? Cass, you want so to talk next about? in the line is, you know, these are the products that were developed in 2018 and worked on being launched here at 2020. Uh, this is our PMX AR magazine. So like those, uh, the 1022, we have a rubber strike plate. We have a sawtooth texture, it helps with gloves and finger grooves, also pouch extraction. Uh, but the biggest thing is we, we put a radius rear because we noticed with our grip, we lo really like the feel and the ergonomic of that mm -hmm. uh, versus having a sharp corner. So this is the PMX AR. Uh, this is 1349 retail. And you'll notice that there's kind of a consistency in, 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 in your design thinking. Yes, we're trying to keep all of them as a line of, of magazines. Very interesting. All right, so what else do you guys have out here for us? So the other two products we have are what we call the Rugged Textured Grip, RTG. Uh, really focused on ergonomics and a good purchase on the grip. Yeah. So having this laser texture, which is very similar to stippling across all the sides, you can grab onto it. It's aggressive enough to keep your hand placed, mm -hmm. but not so aggressive that it wears on you. Uh, and it feels really good gloved, ungloved. Yeah, it does. 
That one retails sixteen forty nine, or sixteen ninety nine. I'm sorry. So that's affordable. Outstanding. What else do we have on the table here? So this is our uh, SM9 magazine. This is patterned after the MPX. Uh, so built on the technology that we built into our Scorpion magazine, we've gone a step further and put a steel wraparound feed lip. Again, it's 35 rounds like the, the AKV magazine. Uh, it's rubber strike plate, same aesthetic appeal. And we're offering a pre-order pre promotion on this. So if you go to our website and buy one, you'll get one free PMX AR magazine. If you buy two, you get three PMX AR magazines. Okay. So just trying to get our brand out there. Absolutely. And what's interesting, guys, is this is about $30 less than the, the SIG magazine. And like you said, it's going to be available in other uh, It'll be arms. available spring 2020, and it's $39.99. Outstanding. So the last product we have is the CTS stock. Uh, again, this is kind of playing on a stock that was designed for a combat or competition. So we got a larger cheek weld. But one thing that you'll notice with all of our stocks is they're very streamlined. We don't want any snag points. So our latch here is recessed into the stock, and that's how you actuate it. We got two Ambi QD cups, and then we have a rubberized uh, butt pad that is removable. You don't removable. want that. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, cool. And as you mentioned before, this one does have tensioning devices. Uh, these are molded on a split core, and they're down inside the stock. So there's no witness line on the outside, but it is tensioned, so you don't get any wobble like you right. see. Right. Yeah, there's. It fits very snugly, locks and... Yeah, no noise. No noise. All right, well, Cass, thank you for taking the time to explain all the products to us. Very, very interesting. It's a new company, guys. Check them out. How can they find you on the internet? Uh, you can go to thrillusa.com. That's the best way to find our products. And then check our Facebook page, and we'll be posting new announcements as they come out. Outstanding, guys. Thank you for watching, and stand by for more SHOT Show 2020 coverage. Cass, thank you, Tim. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, man.